Here's the latest on COVID-19 in Minnesota. 286 people have now died from the virus. 14 more died since yesterday. That is half the number of people reported yesterday, which was Minnesota's highest daily death toll. State health officials say there are more than 3,800 known cases of COVID in the state. And these are the latest numbers we have from Wisconsin. As of yesterday, 272 people have died from the virus there, and more than 5,900 people have tested positive. The JBS plant in Green Bay is now temporarily closed because of virus infections among employees. The Green Bay Press Gazette reports at least 189 COVID-19 infections have been linked to that plant as of Friday. The JBS plant in Worthington closed last week after dozens of positive cases there. Hog farmers are facing tough decisions in the days ahead. With several Midwest pork processing plants closed due to the outbreak, some farmers are forced to hold on to more hogs than they can handle. It could reach a point when they'll have to start euthanizing some. Pork industry experts estimate there's at least a million hogs ready to be processed across the country. They say safely reopening plants is crucial. That can happen relatively soon. That's all the fewer than that we would have to put down. And that's, that's really the, the race right now. Um, we're planning, you know, creating plans just here in Minnesota to probably put down at least 200,000 head over the next couple of weeks. Later this week, it is possible the JBS plant in Worthington will reopen, but only to help farmers euthanize hogs. We're told even if they're able to do so, it will only alleviate about 10% of the problem. Tyson Foods is warning that the nation's food supply chain is breaking as meat processing plants shutter. Tyson took out a full page ad in yesterday's New York Times and Washington Post. The company closed its pork plants in Iowa and Indiana last week so workers could be tested for the virus.